Lots of clouds in the sky today, blocking a lot of the views. The water looks kind of nice at times though. But with that in mind, what's going on today? Seems like a lot of the theme dealt with, I guess, drones and costing a lot of money. I guess for development or innovation? How about this first one? This one says, BT to take stake in drone superhighway pioneer. BT Group PLC plans to take a stake in drone startup Altitude Angel LTD as part of an agreement to invest in the developer of a proposed aerial superhighway linking key UK logistics hubs. BT will provide Altitude Angel with £5 million of financing in return for a stake in the business as part of a Series B fundraising. With the telephony giant taking a seat on the smaller firm's advisory board, the company said Wednesday. I did read about that company before and it says the investment will accelerate the rollout of Altitude Angel's aero technology, which aims to detect and identify drones using cameras and sensors mounted on BT phone masts allowing the craft to operate over large distances while avoiding collisions between themselves or with crude planes. The proposed Skyway drone corridor currently under development would be the world's biggest, spanning 165 miles between logistics interchanges in southern and central England, with planned extensions to Southampton and Ipswich. And as they say, it will be used to transport huge cargo for, I guess, retail, Types of consignments it says here, and as well medical supplies. So lots of companies trying to get, I guess, a piece of the drone commercial operations, if that's what you want to say, in the future. And for drones and I guess money investment, this was kind of interesting. There is that Sony Airpeak drone they released. It's really expensive for that one. And apparently they released this add-on, I suppose, in terms of extending things like the battery life and all that. This one says, new accessory release and development for Sony Electronics Airpeak S1 Professional Drone. Sony Electronics Inc. introduces a new battery station at CES 2023 and announces the development of the new accessories for the Airpeak S1 drone. A new battery pack to help with longer flight time and RTK kit with base station will be available later this year to expand operational capabilities for longer flight times and precise positioning data. When you look at that picture at first too, I would personally assume that's the drone itself, like the package in general, because that's kind of how a lot of people transport their drones in those huge cases. It says the pack includes two charging modes based on the operator's needs. This includes quick mode for shorter charging time we will charge up to four LBP HS1 battery packs from about 20% to 90% in approximately 30 minutes and full mode which will charge up to four LBP HS1 battery packs from about 0 to 100% in approximately 55 minutes or from about 20% to 100% in approximately 50 minutes. A built-in fan automatically cools the battery. So it's meant more for obviously things like I guess production, or I can imagine in a film set anyways, where you quickly need to charge this stuff up. This thing isn't cheap either. The drone itself is almost $9,000 US, and according to this, it says it will be available on January 19, 2023 at a suggested retail price of $2,899.99 US. So not cheap at all. You can pretty much buy a couple of drones I guess with that price too but then again I guess if you need to use something like one of their full frame cameras then people with the money they wouldn't care too much I guess but either way it's expensive and then for this one it relates to some of your guys comments as you guys know I was saying I was trying to think of ways to make things more cohesive for example things with the drone footage or things with the animals and one of you guys asked here whether or not I could make an animal related story as a segment, so to speak, you know, I was thinking maybe I can do one better because I actually last year created a little short film more as a creative test or practice per se, in terms of seeing what could I do in one day, basically the same day I have to film it and all that and edit it in terms of telling a story. And I decided to choose, I guess, the animals and stuff that I bump into that you guys basically see all the time, except I did it in a more, I guess, presentation story I guess style which is kind of what I'm trying to establish with this where how can I make it more cohesive on a daily basis I didn't intend to make this public per se again it was meant more for practice initially but yeah watch it give me any thoughts you have because that might give you a perspective in terms of me saying for example trying to change it around I guess creatively and all that so the general stipulations for this was 
I had to film everything in one day. So only footages, animals and so forth that you saw on the same day and as well, I was only able to use one camera which was this action camera here. That's basically a way just to say, I guess, can this be done with very limited resources? What can you do with that? Because many times people would say they can't do this or that without certain items. So this is what I was able to do with just the limited resources. So you can imagine afterwards, how would I integrate other stuff that I already use? Since this is what I can do without, let's just say, I don't know, a drone or something like that. I don't have things like the time-lapse cameras. So how could I integrate everything what I normally do today into something more, I guess, story driven, if that's what you want to say. So it's more cohesive. That's what I mentioned before too. Because with things like drones too, as I mentioned, there's a lot of people who promote over the top regulations and so forth. They hate it when, I guess, pieces or films, if that's what you want to say, that really touch people and makes them realize, hey, what's going on? What you told me doesn't seem to be the case when I see this and they try to suppress it in many ways. So it makes me wonder what could one do to kind of, I guess, have that bigger impact on people. Like, do you feel like any emotional connection, for example, when you watch this and this was specifically about animals? See you guys later.